Hey you guys, this is Britta Alton here at Ringgold United Methodist Church. I hope you can see behind me that we still have all of our canned goods and non-perishable foods that we're gonna donate to Christ Chapel here. So the Super Bowl is long over, but it's not too late. When you come this Sunday, you can still bring items and they will get tallied up and taken over there this coming week. I hope you're planning to join us in worship this week, either online or in person. No matter how you worship this week, you'll get to see some of the kids leading this week as we demonstrate the motions that we've learned as we memorized the Apostles' Creed. So we're gonna do that during both worship services and feel free, even if you don't attend Wiggle Worship and you wanna jump up there and help us out with the motions, I hope you'll do that. Sunday School lesson this week is about Joseph feeding his family. And I've got a video with the World Kids at the end of this that'll talk a little bit about that. Don't forget, we've got Wednesday night game nights coming up and even a fun little um, Cheeses with Jesus uh, event that is for all ages, but I hope you'll get to come and help us make some food on February 27th. I hope to see you soon. Until I do, I pray that you're blessed. Bye. today. Which part? When Pastor Donna said that Pastor Pete would now be preaching about Joseph forgiving his brothers. Oh yeah, and then Pastor Pete said, you must be mistaken. Uh-huh, and Pastor Donna said, I'm Pastor Donna, you're mistaken. And everyone laughed. Pastor Pete looked so upset, and then they just stared at each other. Yeah, that was not something that usually happens at worship. Oh, you guys, you guys, it's a fight! They're fighting! Slow down, Victor. Who's fighting? Pastor Donna and Pastor Pete! Are grown-ups allowed to fight? Apparently so. They're having an all-out, no-holds-barred altercation right now! Follow me to the vent above Pastor Donna's office! You've got to hear this! We've been here for five minutes, Victor. This doesn't sound like a fight. Are you kidding? Did you hear the way that Pastor Donna said thank you? She did not mean thank you at all. This is intense. But why are they so angry with each other? Ugh, isn't it obvious, Ottoman? Both of them thought the other was going to preach about Joseph today. Pastor Donna was going to do it, but then she asked Pastor Pete to do it. But she asked him over an email, and Pastor Pete doesn't check his emails unless you tell him you sent him an email. Which kind of defeats the point of an email. Well, she should have known Pastor Pete wouldn't have gotten the email. It's not his fault. Well, the real question is, who are we going to side with? What do you mean? Otto, our pastors are fighting. We have only days before our church splits in two, and we're forced to pick sides. The building will have to be divided between the two factions. So, Pastor Donna, as the senior pastor, will claim the sanctuary. Well, then Pastor Pete will take the Sunday school classrooms. Ha! Enjoy them while you can, because Pastor Donna gets the thermostat, and whoever controls the temperature controls the church. Pastor Pete takes the bell tower. The bell tower is useless because Pastor Donna will have already taken the bell. <gasps> you give that back, Victor. Never. Get out of our church, you rebels. You first. Wait, wait, wait. They're talking again. Pastor Pete said he's sorry he didn't check his messages. Yes, Pastor Donna wins. And now Pastor Donna says she's sorry for putting him on the spot. <gasps> See, I told you. Wait, they both apologized? Yep, the fight is over. It's just over? After everything your side did? I think they're going to keep working together, even though they had an argument. So, no revenge or anything? They're just going to reconcile and move on as a team? Well, that's very grown up of them. Mm -hmm.